Common minor disorder in pregnancy. Abdominal pain. Heartburn. Headache. Q2. A patient who refuses to believe a terminal diagnosis is exhibiting. Regression. Morning. Denial. Rationalization. Q3. While changing tubing and cap change on a patient with central line on right subclavian what should the nurse do to prevent complication? Ask patient to breath normally. Ask patient to hold the breath and bear down. Inhale slowly. Exhale slowly. Q4. A patient under you develops shortness of breath while climbing stairs. You inform this to the doctor. This response is interpreted as breaching of patient's confidentiality. Essential, as it is the matter of patient's health. Unlawful, because she didn't get the consent from patient. Q5. Which of the following is not a stage in the life cycle of viruses? Attachment. Uncoating. Replication. Dispersal. Q6. A patient has sexual interest in you. What would you do? Just avoid it, because the problem can be the manifestation of the underlying disorder, and it will be resolved by its own as he recovers. Never attend that patient. Try to re-establish the therapeutic communication and relationship with patient. Dot an inform manager for support. Inform police. Q7. You are nurse at the community care center. An elderly complains to you that his neighbor is stealing money from him. He spends it for his shopping and sometimes the neighbor does not shop and keeps the money with him. You will confront the neighbor when he visits you next time. Remain quiet and ignore the complaint. Request the elderly to talk to the hospital chaplain for further assistance. Raise a complaint in the incident report form and investigate the matter and inform the concerned. Q8. Which of the following is an indication for intrapleural chest drain insertion? Pneumothorax. Tuberculosis. Asthma. Malignancy of lungs. Q9. Patient says, I hate this cancer. Nurse understands which stage patient is in according to Kubler Ross stages of death. Anger. Denial. Depression. Bargaining. Q10. You give the information about a patient to police when. The police shows you the ID. Past conviction. Serious threat for public safety. Q11. A community health nurse with a second year nursing students is collecting history in a home. Nurse notices that she is not at all interested in what is going around and is chatting on her phone. What is the ideal response? Ask the student to leave the group. Warn her in public that such behaviors are not accepted. Inform to the principal. Talk to her in private and make her aware that such behaviors could actually belittle the profession. Ask her to leave phone and assist in what you do in polite language. Q12. When an oropharyngeal airway is inserted properly, what is the sign? Airway obstruction. Retching and vomiting. Bradycardia. Tachycardia. Q13. A patient develops shortness breath after administering third dose of penicillin. The patient is unwell. Your response, call for help, ensure anaphylaxis pack is available, assess ABC, 
Don't leave the patient until medical help comes. Assess ABC. Make patient lie flat. Reassure and continue observing. Q14. In the immediate post-operative period, the priority is taking care of the airway. Watching for blood lose. Monitoring urine output. Q15. What should be taught to a client about use of Zimmer frame? Move affected leg first. Move unaffected leg. Move both legs together. Q16. You have just finished dressing a leg ulcer. You observe patient is depressed and withdrawn. You ask the patient whether everything is okay. She says yes. What is your next action? Say, I observe you don't seem as usual. Are you sure you are okay? Say, cheer up, shall I make a cup of tea for you? Accept her answer leave. Attend to other patients. Inform the doctor about the change of the behavior. Q17. A client is having diagnosed atrial activity. Identify the ECG. Atrial fibrillation. Cardiac arrest. Ventricular tachycardia. Asystole. Q18. What is the purpose of clinical audit? It helps to understand the functioning and effectiveness of nursing activities. Helps to understand the outcomes and processes for medical and surgical procedures. Helps to identify areas of improvement in the system pertaining to nursing and medical personnel. Helps to understand medical outcomes and processes only. Q19. How to take an infected sheet for washing according to UK standard. Take infected linen in yellow bag for disposal. Take in red plastic bag that disintegrates in high temperature. Use red linen bag that allows washing in high temperature. Use a white bag. Q20. Who among the list below are more prone to coronary artery disease? Hypertension, smoker, DM, obese women, non-sedentary lifestyle. Hypertension, smoker, DM, obese men with non-sedentary lifestyle. Hypertension, smoker, obese men, sedentary lifestyle. Q21. Which type of drugs causes most of the falls in older patient? Hypnotics. Loop diuretics. Beta blockers. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Q22. A client is admitted to the psychiatric unit to monitor for depression and suicidal behavior. Oh, and the third day he seems to be very happy and is interacting with others. What may be this? He has finalized his plan for suicide. It's improvement. He had made new friends. Q23. Which is the most common sign of dehydration in older patient? Reduced skin turgor. Bruises. Skin lesions. Pale cyanosis. Q24. A client wants to leave the hospital. The medical team is not happy with his clinical condition and judgment as per the Mental Health Act. What will you do? Let the client leave the hospital as he does not possess any threat to the public or is visibly ill. Inform the security to hold the patient and not let him go away. Inform the police. Counsel the patient to stay back in the hospital for his betterment. Q25. Which of the following tasks may be delegated to unlicensed assistive personnel? Cleaning a wound with peroxide. Colostomy irrigation. Assisting with performing incentive spirometry.
Removing saline lock 4. Please don't forget like and subscribe. Thank you. Q26. A person who display the defense mechanism of compensation. Refuse to hear unwanted information. Transfer feeling to someone else. Place blame on others for personal actions. Overemphasize behavior which accommodate for perceived weakness. Q27. What a patient should not do when using Zimmer frame. It can be used outside. Don't carry any other thing with walker. Push walker forward when using. Slide walker forward. Q28. Which example best describe a nurse who exhibits moral courage? A nurse feels angry when a parent refuses important treatment for child. A nurse considers seeking help for depression when she feels she cannot meet the needs of her client. A nurse contacts a physician for further orders when he fails to order comfort measures for a client with terminal illness. Courage involves taking action to do what is right even when there might be negative consequences. Q29. Being a student, observe the insertion of an ICT in the clinical setting. This is formal learning. Informal learning. Q30. Patient complaints of getting up frequently at night to void. What is the condition? Hematuria. Nocturia. Polyuria. Oliguria. Q31. When teaching a patient to use the three-point gate technique of crutch use. The injured leg moves along with both crutches. Move one crutch then followed by injured leg. Move both crutch ahead then followed by both legs. Q32. An 18 years old female client who has learning disability is admitted for minor abdominal surgery. She is very restless and uncooperative. Her mother requests she wants to stay with the patient whole night. Nurse notices that the visiting time has got over. What is the appropriate action? Allow her to stay with patient and help the patient settle down. Ask the doctor regarding this. Ask the mother to leave as the visiting time got over. Assure her that you will manage the situation and ask her to leave. Q33. How to take an infected sheet for washing a core. Ding to the UK standard. Take infected linen in yellow bag for disposal. Take in red plastic bag that disintegrates in high temperature. Use red linen bag that allows washing in high temperature. Q34. When do the proliferation phase start in wound healing? 10 to 24 days. Minutes. 1 to 2 days. 25 days or more. Q35. Which is the most suitable site for assessing edema? Foot ankle. Clavicle. Sternum. Q36. A patient doesn't sign the consent for mastectomy. But bystanders strongly feel that she needs surgery. Allow family members to take decision on behalf of patient. Doctor can proceed with surgery since it is in line with the best interest and outcome. Respect patient's decision. She has the right to accept or deny. Q37. A client with CVA is found to have difficulty in swallowing. Whom do you think should be informed for further assessment? Neurological physiotherapist. Occupational physiotherapist. Q38. When the doctor will prescribe a broad-spectrum antibiotic. 
when the blood culture shows positive growth of organism. On admission. When septicemia is suspected. After obtaining blood samples for culture. Q39. A patient, after stroke has sustained dysphagia. Which member of the interdisciplinary team should a nurse contact? Physiotherapist. Speech therapist. Neurophysiologist. Dietitian. Q40. Patient with suicidal tendency after two trials of suicidal attempt gets admitted in a psychiatric unit. After two days he seems cheerful and motivated. Which is the explanation a nurse can give? He has made new friends and is happy. He has finalized a suicidal plan. Treatment is working, now he is recovering. He is happy. He is eating and drinking well. Q41. While brushing the teeth the nurse observes bleeding gums in the client. The nurse understands that the probable cause for this gingivitis is poor diet, poor flossing, poor tartar removal, infection. Q42. A patient's gum bleeds when he brushes, which indicates loose denture, poor flossing, poor diet. Q43. After lumbar laminectomy, which the appropriate method to turn the patient. Patient holds at the side of the bed, with crossed knees try to turn by own. Head is raised knees bent, patient tries to make movement. Patient is turned as a unit. Q44. A client immediately following LP developed deterioration of consciousness bradycardia, increased systolic BP. What is this? Normal reaction. Client has brain stem herniation. Pinal headache. Q45. Which among the following is a cause of hemorrhoids? High fiber rich diet. Non-processed food. Straining while passing stools. Unsaturate fats in the diet. Please don't forget like and subscribe. Thank you. Q46. A patient asks a RN, can I tell you a secret? What is the RN's best response? Yes, because it develops trust which is central to the NPR. Yes, and I will share it with the relevant medical team. Yes, I will share it with all the medical professionals who are supposed to know the secret. Yes, I will keep the secret because it is confidential. Q47. The bystander of a Muslim lady wishes that a lady doctor only should check the patient. Best response just neglect the request. Tell her that only male doctor is available and he is taking care of many female staffs daily. Respect the request, if possible arrange the consultation with a female doctor. Q48. Bystander informs you that the patient is in severe pain. Your response, tell him that he would come as soon as possible. Record in the chart and inform doc and in charge. Tell that she would give the next dose of analgesic when it is time. Go instantly to the patient and assess the condition. Q49. A patient develops gingivitis after using an artificial denture. It is characterized by white patches on tongue, red shiny patches on tongue, red shiny patches around the palate of tooth. White patches in the palate. Q50. On admission of a service user, you have done an informal risk assessment for pressure sores, and you have noted that the patient is currently not at risk. What will be your next step? 
Include the repositioning chart on your patient's daily notes and instruct your carers HCAs to turn your patient every two hours. Alert the general practitioner about your patient's condition. Reassess your patient on a regular basis and document your observations. Modify your patient's diet to maintain intact skin integrity. Q51. The nurse sat an older man on the toilet in a six-bed hospital bay. Using her judgment, she recognized that he was at risk of falling and so left the toilet door ajar. In the meantime, the nurse went to make his bed on the other side of the bay. On turning around, she noticed that the patient had fallen onto the toilet floor. What should be her initial intervention? Immobilize the patient and conduct a thorough assessment, checking for injuries. Call for help immediately. Press the emergency call button immediately. Check the patient for injuries and transfer him to the wheelchair. Q52. One of your healthcare assistants came to you saying that she could not continue with her rounds due to a bad back. What will you do first? Assess your colleague's back and administer painkillers. Ring for agency staff to cover the shift. Document the incident and report to the manager. Send her home and cover her work yourself to help the team. Q53. A diabetic patient with suspected liver tumor has been prescribed with triphasic CT scan. Which medication needs to be on hold after the scan? Furosemide. Metformin. Docusate sodium. Paracetamol. Q54. A resident is due for discharge from your nursing home. You have been his key worker for the last five years and his family has been appreciative of the care you have provided. One of the relatives has offered you cash in an envelope after saying goodbye. What should you do? Say thank you, but refuse the offer politely. Say thank you and accept the offer. Accept the offer and share it to your colleagues. Accept the offer and keep it to yourself. Q55 there has been a bomb threat at the medical center. The emergency response team informs the staff that the threat is legitimate and that service users should start being evacuated. Which of the following should you do? Ambulatory patients. Bedridden patients. ITU patients. Infants. Q56. A 70-year-old woman is on long-term anticoagulant therapy following repeated episodes of deep vein thrombosis, DVT, and pulmonary embolism, PE. She is overweight but otherwise fit. Which medicine should she avoid taking when taking warfarin? Paracetamol. Vitamin C, vitamin D, ibuprofen. Q57. As the nurse on duty, you have noted that there has been an increasing number of cases of pressure sword in your nursing home. Which of the following is the best intervention? Collaboration with the multidisciplinary team. Patient advocacy. Reduce fragmentation and costs. Identify opportunities and develop policies to improve nursing practice. Q58, you have discovered that the last dose of intravenous antibiotic administered to service user was the wrong dose. Which of the following should you do? Document the event in the service user's medical record only. File an incident report and document the event in the service user's medical record. Document in the service user's medical record that an incident report was filed. File an incident report, but don't document the even on the service user's record, because information about the incident is protected. Q59. A normal sign of aging in the renal system is 
A decreased glomerular filtration rate. Oliguria. Intermittent incontinence. Microscopic hematuria. Q60. Mrs. Bond has been ordered 100 milliliters to be infused over 45 minutes via a 20 drops ml giving set. What drip rate should be set? 50 drops per minute. 44 drops per minute. 41 drops per minute. 52 drops per minute. 